Hey everyone, Lee Sports Wisconsin columnist Jim Polzine uh, here with you for an open gym mailbag video question. On site, uh, it's the early morning, Wednesday morning, past midnight. Uh, if you look behind me, that's the rim that had the net cut down from it after the Badgers celebrated their Big Ten uh, title after beating Purdue. Um, thought I would do the open gym mailbag question from here. It's a pertinent one. It comes from Twitter, at first name underscore bunch of numbers. Great name there. Uh, even better question, and that's, is this Greg Gard's best coaching job ever? Um, it's a tough question to answer. Uh, I don't want to be a prisoner of the moment, but we are a couple hours removed from Wisconsin clinching a share of the Big Ten title. They're 15-4 and four in the league. This team was picked to finish 10th. It's an unbelievable story. Um, it's kind of a, something that you know, nobody would ever believe back in November, at least outside the program. Even as the season went on, there were just so many reasons to wonder if this team was going to kind of come back down to earth a little bit, and it never has. It's been just an incredible story. Um, is it his best coaching job ever? I don't know. And, and here's there's two other seasons I would put in the running, which is pretty incredible if you think about it. This is his seventh year as a coach, uh, and there's three really, really good coaching jobs to consider. Um, let's go in chronological, chronological order. The first season, when, when Greg Gard turned around that season after Bo Ryan left midseason, um, he kept his job. I mean, he got the interim tag, you know, ripped off his title and got a permanent job from Barry Alvarez in part because he helped turn around the team that year. They led him back to the um, top four finish in the Big Ten, led him to the Sweet 16, um, got the job. Without that season, he doesn't have this job, right? With, without the job he did down the stretch, um, he's not the head coach here probably. So that one's pretty high on my list, right? Two seasons ago was incredible for a different reason. Uh, that team won a share of the Big Ten title despite dealing with some major things. You know, the Howard Moore family tragedy before the season began, uh, Kobe King leading this, leaving the team mid-season, and, you know, Eric Helen's forced resignation um, a little while later, which is three really big things to deal with, and yet that team won its final eight games um, pulled together, Greg Gard helped pull them together, and you know they want to share the title that nobody saw coming. Um, is this one better? It's coming off a really tough off season for Greg Gard, um, and you know they they lost a lot of guys from last season, and 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 here they are. You know Johnny Davis has become a star. Brad Davison returned and has been such an important part of this team. Tyler Walls improved. Chucky Hepburn has been amazing for a freshman. Steven Krause improved. The bench has gotten a little bit better, I think, as the season's gone on. Um, so an incredible job. And I, I frankly, I'm not going to pick between them because I think they're all incredibly special for different reasons. And I think you could probably ask three people and they'd all give different uh, answers for which one's been his best coaching job. But I'm pretty sure he's going to win Big Ten Coach of the Year for the second time in three seasons. Uh, and it's deserved. He's done an incredible job this season. So read the rest of the mailbag. It's another long one, a lot of great questions, covers a lot of topics, not just UW men's basketball, but a lot of different sports are covered. So please read and, and thanks for submitting questions. Take care.